Boom. Yo. Ah. The thing goes grrr. Skitty kick pop pop. And the poop poop poo boom. Skia. Doo 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 doo. Boom boom. You done now. Hello my dudes. If you wanna know how to make sexy 3D edits just like Nicky HD, Maro, Fuse and the others, you've come to the right place. Please keep in mind that I won't show how to do certain steps in the whole workflow process, but rather tell you where you can find out how to do that. So instead of making a 344 hours long tutorial, I'll do a short complex overview and tell you where you can find all specific elements on various things you need to know. I will cover up the following things in the next few minutes. Number one, what software do you need? Number two, recording your demos correctly. Number three, exporting your maps, guns, characters, animations and all the other shit. Number four, actually editing the movie. And number five, some post-production things and other stuff. You will need the following programs. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Source Filmmaker, Half-Life Advanced Editor, GCFscape, BSP Source, VTF Edit, Crowbar, Hamur, Blender with Blender Source Tools, and AFX Blender scripts, Cinema 4D with some import scripts, Unreal Engine 3, Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects. I linked all of these in the description. By the way, this is just one of many ways to do it. In my opinion it's the most easy way and there's tutorials for all of this. The next step is recording your demos correctly. Unlike for normal edits you can't just screen capture. You have to understand what specific parts of a gameplay you need to edit them as 3D files. You can basically split it in four main parts. You have the map, which is where everything takes place, the HDR, which is all characters movements in your demo, the BVH, which is the camera movements, for example your point of view movement or a custom camera for cinematics, and the point of view animations, which is the first person view for arms, weapons and all that stuff. So in CSGO itself you record your HDR and BVH with Half-Life Advanced Editor. You will find a full tutorial in the description which covers up all you need to know. Once you have done this we come to step 3. Exporting maps, guns, characters and animations. For the maps you can do it yourself or just use the maps fuse exported. Links in the description. If you want a new map you need to extract the models, decompile all of it Get your textures and export it to the software of your choice. I linked two tutorials for exporting the maps to Cinema 4D, 3ds Max and Unreal Engine. For your gun animations, you need to get them from Source Filmmaker, put them into Blender, export as FBX to put it into Cinema 4D and then fix the animations. Unfortunately, they are glitched most of the times, so you need to fix some keyframes and stuff. Again, there is a tutorial in the description. For the HGR and BVH, which you recorded before, you need to get and decompile player models, textures and animations using GFScape and Crowbar. Then you put them into Blender and export as FBX. In the end you have your map in, for example, Unreal Engine and then add the FBX files, which is your camera, BVH, players plus movements, HGR, and your gun animations. There's two more tutorials for this depending on whether you want it in Unreal Engine or Cinema 4D, which are in the description. The next, and the part that's most fun, is actually editing your movie. I would say there's four main things you can do to make a cool movie. First thing is editing textures, second thing is editing animations, third thing is editing models, and number four is, in general, adding new elements. Editing textures is pretty easy. I linked some beginner tutorials. The most difficult part is actually getting some high quality textures. One of the best sites for that is Polygon in my opinion. It's not for free but it's pretty cheap and the textures are of really high quality. Editing animations can be really tough, especially if you're a beginner. Um, I linked some tutorials in the description. However, I think it's the least necessary thing you have to do when making a 3D movie. There's editors like Dizzle and I think Nikki HD does it too. Um, they recreate every animation. But we, we did it like the way I just explained in the last 5 minutes. We got all our animations from CSGO. 
if we want to change them we already have something to work with and we don't necessarily have to change it because it's already there. Basic knowledge about animations is important though. For example if you want to have some moving objects in the background or in general everything that moves that's not from the uh, Counter-Strike game. Editing models can be kinda hard too. It depends of course if you just want to move something around it's super easy. If you want to model something from scratch you need a lot of knowledge about it. But you can also just uh, download any models for free from the internet. Adding new elements is all about how creative you are. And of course you need to learn some very specific things depending on what you want to do. Again there's tutorials for almost everything on YouTube. Just search for it. If it's in your mind that you want to do a thunderstorm inside your edit, google on how to make a thunderstorm in Cinema 4D. The last step would be um, rendering your movie and then putting it to a software such as After Effects or Sony Vegas. What you do there is some really basic things. For example color correction, um, you can do small changes to velocity, you can add some pan cropping, some shakes, some flashes. You obviously have to do the kill feed, you can do some motion tracking, I guess you get my point. Just one basic rule for post-production, keep it simple. The focus should lay on your 3D work and not on some RGB splits and twitch effects. So I think that's all you need to know. I know this is a very, very brief tutorial, I wouldn't even call it a tutorial, it's more like an overview as I said in the beginning. If you have any questions, just write a comment. If there's anything I can improve in my next... I don't know how to call it, it's not a tutorial, but... You get my point, any kind of criticism can go into the comment section and I will delete and block you once I read it. And yeah, have a nice day and have fun editing.